Hey everybody, today we're going to make one of these little head trackers for the PS Move service. Let's get to it. Okay, so to get started you're going to need all your things, all your materials. Obviously you're going to need your headlamp. Um, these things, you can buy this particular headlamp at Walmart for one dollar. Um, it's an Ozark Trail brand. Um, doesn't really matter what headlamp you get, but I would suggest this one because it works really well. And it does the flippy thingy. So, um, you're going to need that. You're going to need black tape, electrical tape, um, so we can mask off areas that we don't want uh, the light shining through. You're also going to need your ping pong balls. Color ping pong balls. This is only a buck seventy-five at Walmart, by the way. Um, you're gonna need uh, sandpaper or something abrasive, like an emery board or maybe a, a little file or something. That's to take away the uh, marks that are on the ping pong ball. I would also suggest something to push in the tape. Use your fingers if you want, or I would suggest using something like a metal chopstick or something. You're gonna need something to cut with. Uh, a X-Acto blade or a um, utility, utility knife like this one works just fine. You're gonna need a marker to mark the hole out on the ping pong ball with. A good size of reference is a quarter sized hole because that size of hole works really well. As you can see, it fits beautifully on the light. You will also need Velcro. Buy this stuff really cheaply, either at the dollar store or Walmart. All this stuff shouldn't cost you more than about five or six dollars. A dollar for that, the light, two bucks for the uh, ping pong balls, a dollar or two for this, and that's about it. Well, I guess the black tape, but again, all this stuff you can get fairly cheap. And last but not least, you're going to need one of these guys. You have to have like a hot glue gun. Can you super glue it? Probably, but I would suggest a hot glue gun. Low temperature, easy to work with, no issues there. So, with, once you have all your materials amassed, let's get started. Okay, so, we need to start with our light. So the first thing you want to do is of course um, take off the strap here. Now you could just undo the thing and uh, once you have the strap taken off you're gonna it's gonna look like this guy. Now you're probably wondering how the hell do you do that so quickly? <laughs> it's called Baker's Magic! So <laughs> you see these? You can literally just pull them off. They're really easy. So, I actually bought two on the use. So, anyways. Okay, so once you got the strap off, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need the electrical tape. Now, why electrical tape? I will show you. So we're just gonna put it on like that over it. Get it about like so. Alright, start with that and then grab your whatever you're gonna do and then just nicely see how that pushes in there. And uh, this will kind of be important later. And then grab another piece of tape. That should all be all you need. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. And get it all nice and anyway there's a line there. 
because we're going to follow that line. So we can cut it here in a minute. Okay, once you get it nice and done really well, all the way around, we're going to take our X-Acto blade and we're going to go around very gently. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to break it. You just want to cut just gentle enough. Where it's cutting that tape. And we're just going to follow the contour lines of the outside of the light here. Keep dropping it. <laughs> Again, try not to cut the light. And also try not to cut yourself because if you use an exact uh, utility knife like the one I have here, these things are incredibly sharp. I have cut myself before, so if, uh, if you're a younger person and you're doing this, make sure you have supervision. Okay, so once you do that, put your thumb here in the middle and pull up. And it should come off. I would pull all the way out, the whole thing should just come right off, as you can see. As you can see, I have a little bit left on each side, and we can just take care of that by, you know, going like this, and going like so. Pretty easy. And then I would go ahead and go around and make sure everything is nice and put down. And of course discard of that. <laughs> okay, next thing we want to do is grab our penny, or sorry, our quarter. And uh, our marker. Um, we're going we're gonna to use that marker in a minute. Um, Try to mark it with the marker the best you can. As you can see, you should be able to see a difference between the black tape and the marker. Now you want to go on the inside of the marker and you should literally just be able to cut over to the edge pretty much at a diagonal line on both sides and then do the same thing on the edges because the more we don't have to fiddle with that tape the best and then we're just gonna peel up that little area that we just cut as you can see, I accidentally pulled this little piece off here. That's no big deal. We can just put that right back in there. And with a little help with our X-Acto blade. Now, again, if you don't want to do the tape exact like that, you don't have to. You can probably use some more hot glue or whatever. That's that. But this is just the best way I figured out. And, as you can see, it doesn't shine where the black is. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So set your light aside, and now we're going to be grabbing our ping pong ball. Now, whatever ping pong ball color you use, you have to make sure it's compatible with the PS Move service. So, like, magenta, cyan, yellow, green, red, and blue. I'm going to go ahead and use this yellow one. Um, I, for my setup, I actually use green, but uh, for the example, we use yellow. And so the next part we're going to use is we're going to use a piece of sandpaper and we're just going to sand that face off. Now, 
funny enough, this is not a hundred percent necessary. Okay. Now you could do that, but actually funny enough, we're gonna be using our quarter for that size, right? For that hole. Now, on this particular bing bong wall, it looks like that smiley face is right at the same size as that quarter. So we can literally put a quarter with your thumb and just mark around it. Just like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can kind of, you know, they use that quarter to make the initial mark. And then you can do that. I would grab your black tape and do that. Helps it stay in there. <laughs> this next part, be extremely careful. We're gonna cut it in that ping pong wall. I find that it's easier to cut this way, but basically poke in and then just very gently kind of roll the ping pong ball as you go. Because you want to go roll into it rather than cut with the knife. Uh, it makes it much easier and much more controlled. And you're not, one, you're not going to cut your fingers, and two, it'll make the hole the size you want, like that. I made that look easy, but I've cut about three or four of them. <laughs> Now we got our hole, we got this, I'll just show you, see how well, it, 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 it's a really uniform light and it works pretty well. So now what we're going to do is really easy. The thing I would definitely suggest is go ahead and put a little bead, hot glue there on the end. And uh, what that does is you're going to put that right there and then just hold it down until it dries and then uh, the reason for that is it's less likely to move around when you're doing nothing then I would go ahead pull it down and glue it on the inside and I would just glue a bead around all the way around to the side here and then let it dry Side. So we're going to start at the middle of the back and go to the front like so. Now the funny thing is you shouldn't need a whole lot. As you'll see once it's done. There's a little bit of light leakage but if you push it down while it's drying you shouldn't have that problem. I'd actually turn it on while you're doing this so you can see. Now, um, there's another thing called driver for VR. You can use uh, colored ping pong balls or colored objects in that too. So if you're making it for driver for VR, you can do the same thing. In fact, the cool thing is you can use the uh, head tracker, head marker and stuff. So it should work out to your advantage. Okay, turn it on and check it. Not a whole lot of light leakage, it's a good seal. Um, and last but not least, you're gonna wanna put some right here. Uh, right there in the middle there, in the back. Just to kinda help seal that rest of that area. And 
and you get a, bu a, a button and everything, which is nice. Um, and you can battery interchangeable, so. Nice thing is, there you go. There's your head tracker. It should work pretty good. As you can see by my hand, there's a little bit of light leakage, but not enough to hurt anything. And actually, I think we could take care of that by putting a little bit of hot glue there. Should take care. That should be it for that particular part of it. The last thing we're going to need. Now, on your headset, you're going to want to put the whichever side you want. It doesn't matter. Um, so. Um, but what you're going to need to do is we're going to want to put... Uh, our um, so last but not least we're going to need our velcro and you can take the velcro and I like to get about the same width let's take here Blade. Get it there. That should cut it pretty good. You can use if you have scissors, you can use scissors too. And uh, we're gonna just put some hot glue on the back here. I ran out of hot glue. I knew I would. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Now the cool thing is you can either use your um, tracker on the front of your headset or on the top which is nice and uh, this particular doing way of doing this works really well. All right so we made our little head tracker for the PS Move service. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time we'll see you later.